adding a VECO Dynamics Wind Directional Source Actor into your level. The reason you would want to add one of these wind actors into your level is so that way it can interact with the objects you have populated your level with and make a move in a natural motion as if the wind is actually hitting them. To start, what you need to do is come up to Search Classes and type in Wind. Next, grab the VD Wind Directional Source Actor and drag it into your level. Now before we can continue, what you need to do is enable wind on each one of your objects. Because if you don't, and I press play, the objects will have no wind hitting them. So to do this, I'm going to open up each one of my actors. Next, I'm going to select the component that is needed to be changed. Come up to the top, search and type in wind. Next, I want to check affected by global wind. And do this for the rest of them. Hit compile and go go forward. Okay, I'll minimize this for right now. Next, what I want to do is I'll just take a look at how it is. Okay, so it's not much wind that's actually coming out of the default actor, as you can see. So I want to change those settings. So what I'm going to do is click on the actor and change these settings right here. Now you can put these to whatever you like that you feel meet your needs. So I'm just going to fill these numbers in. Point three. Okay, so let's see what happens now if I press play. Okay, so as you can see, the wind is blowing and it is affecting each one of my actors. Now here's the problem. As you can see with the mesh cloth, it looks really rigid. The rope that I have over here also looks really rigid. It's only blowing in one direction. It doesn't look that natural. And this rope right here seems like it's blowing a little too hard for the settings that I have. And the same thing for this cloth. A little too much force looks, it makes it look like it's uh, going on. So what I'm going to do is there's another setting that I want to change to make this all look much more natural. So I'll escape. And I'll open up the window that has all my actors in it. So within these settings, I want to change the drag coefficient number. So what I'm going to do is bring that down to 0.1. I found that this setting actually works the best. With a drag coefficient higher, you get a much more floaty type of object. Bringing down that number, it makes it much more fluid. Again, if you're going for a more floaty feel, the drag coefficient is actually better to be the higher it is. But in this case, I don't want that. I can close this window now, and now I'll press play and see the results. So when the wind actor starts up, you can now see as it hits the gust, everything looks like it's much better. The little rope is not as dramatic. The procedural cloth is definitely not as dramatic. The mesh cloth is not having the issue where it looks so rigid anymore. It actually looks like it has different gusts hitting it. And this long rope that I've created looks like it's doing the exact same thing. That it's much more 
dynamic, much more fluid, um, not going in the same direction the entire time. So that's how you can add a wind actor, a VD wind actor, to your scene while also fixing your actors uh, that you've created to respond better to the wind actor that you put in.